Okay, we're going to start off with doing 19.5 work together, which is using the double declining balance expense uh, for depreciation method. And so we're going to have some information here telling us about beginning book value, annual depreciation, any book value um, on the following plant assets during our current year. And we're going to use the double declining balance depreciation method. Um, and remember it says that we're going to need to round because that will happen here. We need to round to the nearest cent. So in our first one, we're doing the paint machine. And so our depreciation is uh, double declining. Double, I always spell declining wrong. Can you believe it? Declining, oh, and then the hyphen, balance. Um, we jump over here to our original cost of our paint machine, which was twenty-seven thousand. Our estimated salvage value is a thousand, and useful life of four years. And we bought it on January, oh, January fourth. So all that information is just coming from um, what they've provided for us. So no big deal there. Then we start with our beginning book value of 27,000, that's the original cost of the paint machine, okay? Now we need to find our declining balance rate. So the way that we do that, and I'm just gonna show our PowerPoint screen, is we take our estimated depreciation expense, which is 100%, and we divide it by the number of useful life years. And for us, that's uh, four. So when we take 100 divided by four, we get 25. And then because we're doing double declining balance, we take that 25 times two. So our declining balance rate is actually 50%. So we go back here and we put in 50%. So 50% 50 of 27,000 is 13,5. So our ending book value is 13,5, half of our starting. Then our ending book value becomes our beginning book value. 50% stays the same. The declining balance rate won't change here. The annual depreciation will, as you see, because we take 13.5 and 50% of that is 6,750. So our ending book value is 6,750. That becomes our beginning book value for year three. 50% of that is 3,370. Oops, too many threes. 3,375. 3, 3,375. Okay, and that brings us down to the same amount. That becomes our beginning book value. And now remember that with this, um, we do not depreciate lower than the estimated salvage value. So let's plug our ending book value in over here, 1,000. And so it's the difference between these two, the beginning book value and the ending book value. Um, will be our annual depreciation, which should be 2,375, okay? So this one was a rather easy one. Um, let's go ahead and look at our office computer now, which is our next one, okay? Scrolling down, our depreciation stays the same. It's the double declining hyphen balance. Our original cost was 2200 We've got estimated salvage value of 200 And we think we're going to use it for five years. And we bought it on January 6th. So again, all that information is coming from this line right here. So let's start our depreciation. So our beginning book value is the original cost of the office computer, which was 2200 And then again, we need to find our declining balance rate. So we go back and we take estimated depreciation of 100, divide by 5, because that's how many useful life years we have, which is 20%. Because we're doing double declining, we take 20 times 2, and we get 40%. So our uh, depreciation rate for this one is 40%. So 40% of... 2200 is 880 and we subtract beginning book value and annual depreciation and we get our ending book value which is 1320. 
that becomes our beginning. 40%, 40 percent, 40 percent of 1320 is 528. We take 1320, subtract 528 to get our ending book value, and our ending book value ends up at 792. That becomes our beginning book value for year three. 40 percent, notice that the uh, accumulated depreciation rate is not changing. Okay, it's the annual depreciation actual amount that changes when you're doing the double declining balance. Um, so here we have um, $316.80. So here we're getting into the cents a little bit. So make sure that you round correctly. That gives us an ending book value of 475.20. So we come into year four. 40% stays the same. That's 190 and 8 cents, which brings us to an ending book value of 285.12. So again, remember we do not depreciate below our salvage value. So since our ending book value is our salvage value of 200, we plug that in here. And then we take the difference between 285 and 200 and get our annual depreciation for the last year of $85.12. So hopefully that one made sense. Um, now let's look at our last plant asset, which is a sander. Um, the sander has this following information. Um, $800 original cost, 80 for salvage value in eight years. Um, for an estimated useful life. So we've got double declining balance, original cost of 800, salvage value of 80, useful life years of eight, and we bought it on January 7th. Okay, so beginning book value starts at 800. And then we need to find our declining balance rate. So we take 800, divide by 8, and we get, I think that's 12.5. But let me get my handy dandy calculator out because I don't trust my math. Yep, 12.5 times 2 is 25% is what we're looking at here. So. Let's go back, 25%. So 25% of 800 is $200 for our first annual depreciation, which brings our ending book value to 600, okay? That starts us off in year two with 600. Declining balance rate stays the same, and our annual depreciation goes to 150 which brings our ending book value to 450. That starts us off with year three. Rate stays the same at 25, and that brings us to annual depreciation of 1250. Ending book value then would be 337.50. So you can see how you just keep going and noticing how your ending Ending book value continues to decrease as we make our way closer to our estimated salvage value. This is the one particularly when they're talking about making sure that you're rounding correctly um, to the nearest cent because you are working not with nice even numbers, which we had been before. So as we come into our last full year, our beginning book value is 142.38, and our declining rate is still 25, so annual depreciation is $35.60, which brings us to 106.78, I should say. So that, in our last year, 
is our beginning book value. And remember that our ending book value is always our estimated salvage, which was $80. So in our last year of depreciation, we had $26.78. So remember that your annual depreciation rate, or not your rate, your annual depreciation is going to continually change, but your declining rate is going to stay the same, always at 25%. That doesn't change. Um, whereas straight line, your amount is always the same. So that's a little bit different. But um, that's the double declining balance method. Um, go ahead and do your 19.5 on your own um, and then your 19.5 application problem.